Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. Yo, what are you doing? I was tying my shoe, but I'm, I'm, I'm here all week. If you're hungry and craving Thai and just so happen to be cruising down 290, then you'll definitely want to hit up the little gem that's known as Bodhi Thai Bistro. Hi guys, Christine Ostel here. If you're a Thai lover, a vegan, or a lover of excellent food, head on over to Bodhi Thai Bistro. Bodhi Thai opened in January and the business and food aren't hurting. Bodhi means uh, an awakening or enlightenment. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you come here, try something different and enlighten your taste buds, you know, little things like that. You learn something new. So why travel to Berwyn for some Thai grub? Let's start with the appetizers. Try their sweet potato and corn fritters that's deep fried and blended with taro and Thai herbs. You can eat everything too. Oh my gosh. You think I can? I can eat all of it. On the cold side, Chef Sansi has some tum salad is popular in the Thai community. Must be good, huh? It's a crisp green papaya salad with tomatoes, string beans, and chilies, prepared in garlic lime dressing and topped with roasted peanuts. Sure, they serve delicious pad thai, but traditional Thai freestyle cooking means you can request an entree, and they're more than happy to cook it for you. We do have things that aren't on your typical Thai menu at different restaurants. Yeah. We have stuff that we eat at home, uh, a couple down-home dishes that you might be interested in. Like this special pork leg stew. Or the Pad Pre King that's the chef's favorite dish. It's stir-fried in red curry with pork and string beans. Everything is special for, for this uh, restaurant. Yeah. Another restaurant, this, uh, I think uh, not too much for the special, but this one, everything special for, for a week or for a month too. Right? I mean, all these things came together. It was like a dream for yeah. And as the old saying goes, save the best for last, especially when it's a sweet dessert called the sticky rice with Thai custard. They also have a secret menu that you can ask about and a party room in the back with a large sliding door for extra privacy. Alright guys, I'm so full as you can see from all my empty plates. Bodhi is probably one of the best Thai restaurants I've ever been to, so come here already. See ya! Sweat Lee Ka, everybody. Bodhi is located at 6211 Roosevelt Road in Berwyn, Illinois. The, what is that? Marco, what are you wearing? Don't hate because I make this look good. It's time to get your groove on, and where better to learn how to shake your moneymaker than the Flamenco Art Center? Yorano! Want to know how to shake your hips like a Tahitian dancer? Let's check it out. Sure, there's a lot of hip shaking in Tahitian dance, but it's not what it's all about. As part of the Polynesian culture, Tahitian dance was started by Madeline Moa in the late 1950s, and it's been growing in popularity on the main island. Before we began our very first lesson, we got into character by changing into sarongs. These students make the dance look so easy. But some people just can't seem to get the right moves. So I'm with Shelly, the main instructor for Tahitian dancing. Hi Shelly! Hi! So what is Tahitian dancing? Well, it's a dance from the islands of Tahiti, as it sounds like, and it's a lot of hip shaking, a lot of fun movements, it's really, it's kind of unknown. It's like Hawaiian hula, except faster and bigger. Alright, so can you give us a little lesson? Here's Connie Lee. Sure! We're going to learn the basic move, how to move your hips side to side. It's mostly in your knees and your legs, so if you just bend your knees down right here, and keep your posture really tall, and then you straighten one leg, straighten your right leg, and your hip's going to come up. And then if you straighten your other leg, then your other hip's going to come up. So if you just alternate back and forth, just keep your shoulders at the same length, and your heels on the ground, and then you can just go back and forth. And that's a basic move. Right there. And when are your classes going on? Our classes are Tuesday nights. We do 7 to 8 is about um, Hawaiian hula, and then eight to nine is Tahitian basics. So it's good. Those are both beginning classes, and then we have our company classes after. 
Oh, very cool. So do you guys compete at all as well? There actually aren't a whole lot of groups around here to come up with havas or competitions for Tahitian dances. So we do do a lot of shows, a lot of performances for parties and events, community events, things like that. So. And how is this a form of good exercise? Oh, actually, it'll really get you going. It looks pretty simple, but your legs are bent the whole time, so it gets your legs really strong and really working hard. I love it. It's actually one of the best um, workouts I've ever had. I mean, I used to work out before, like four times a week, and you know, the whole shebang. But I think this one just really um, shapes you the way a woman should be shaped. I think because it really works your uh, your sides, your abs, your legs, especially without doing a lot of squats. And it's just really enjoyable, so that's like a, a big plus. All right, so Tahitian dancing was really fun. I really worked my hips. I am pumped to go clubbing right now. <laughs> what do you yep. think? <laughs> Wait, what are you doing here? Whoa. Hey guys, what's up? So Tahitian um, dancing. Oh. I really think I'm getting the hang of this. What do you think? You're right, I'm a natural. Um, natural isn't what comes to mind, but I do have the sudden urge to put you on the dashboard of my car. To learn more about the classes, check them out, ohanaent.com. Okay, don't go anywhere because you've got more of that mouth-watering tie and some oh-so-smooth R&B coming your way.